Okay, so we're here at the unveiling of the Green Hornet car. Can you uh, tell me what kind of car it is and what what's special about it? Uh, it's a uh, Chrysler Imperial from 1965, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the same model that was in the TV show. Mm -hmm. um, we obviously remade the whole technology inside and outside. It's uh, when we use the power of the line of a car that was designed 40 years ago, which is sort of timeless. But we we increase all the equipment, the technology inside, so they're gonna have really a great time to to use the equipment inside. I mean, rockets, miniguns, uh, huge flamethrower. Uh, there is, you can't see it now, but the door open like that, you have gun in the door. Mm -hmm. You can use the door as a gun machine. So it's going to be pretty awesome. And maybe the big surprise for the end. I can't reveal it. Reveal okay. okay. Um, I heard about the action scenes and how great they are and, and how how intricate some of them are. Can you talk a little bit about those or they're still under wraps? Well, of course Kato, whoever plays Kato is going to be a great martial artist. Um, there is a legend of Bruce Lee we have to live up to. Mm -hmm. uh, we will take that very seriously. So the fight will be really strong and we want to have a, like a very scary villain to confront that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked on some technique. Uh, visual uh, and digital technique to enhance uh, the fight and, and give a perspective where basically in few words that Kato has the capacity to slow time and act faster than his opponent. So you will see in the same frame Kato acting in fast motion where the other people are in slow motion but yet they are in the same universe and the camera is moving and it's all tied together. So it's going to give really an effect that will uh, hopefully get people uh, nailed in their seats. Okay.